the Bridgertons <laughs> would never say in it. Commentary. Bridgerton season three official clip. Netflix. Ooh. We got the latest, the newest of Bridgerton season three. Ah. I'm excited and that's saying something given that i have seen no other source material for bridgerton but i am really excited for season three of the show i really do love the actress she was in dairy girls which if you haven't seen that series it's amazing highly recommend nicola i love her and yes. i'm so excited because season three is her season of love she is a maybe one of the most interesting characters on the whole show, actually. Mm. And so I'm so excited that we've had like behind the scenes with her and we've gotten to know her and now we're really featuring her. I'm so excited, Penny. So we're just going to jump right into reacting to the official clip that just dropped on uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, and we'll link it down below so you all can watch it yourselves and get very excited for Get the new season. Get excited for the Bridgertons! <laughs> it's going to be a right proper romance. An excellent love story. It will be a romp. A right romp. <laughs> Tea and crumpets. Good night. She, Ooh, she looks beautiful. Great. Need a she looks so Spinsters good. Do not need chaperones. You are not a Ooh. You miss me. Oh. You missed me, but you would never call me. All right, tell him. Pen, yes, I, just say it. You. Say it. Am I Mama's boy? He did season. say that. Telling he everyone did. how you would never ever call Penelope Featherington. No, no, no. Penny, you're, you're amazing. Because I embarrass you. No, don't be embarrassed. Of course, you never caught me. <sighs> I am the laughing stock of the town, even when I change my entire wardrobe. Don't change for a man. It just never occurred to me that no. you of all people could be so cool. Penny, no. No, I was upset. <laughs> little too sad. Uh, I think that we should also watch the sneak peek in hopes that that's a little bit more. We need some levity for, for Penelope's story. We need something cute. Lovely. We need a right, a right romance. Thank Me. you. That, not when you add in it, that automatically. The Bridgertons <laughs> would never say in it. It's not proper. They are the most proper of the ton. I have a, I have a, a, a Bridgerton Cinematic Universe question. Does this actually take place in the UK? Or is it one of those things where it's just like vaguely European country, so everyone sounds British? Oh, no, it's not Genovia. It's the UK. Gotcha. OK, like, so we're in like, like real they, world scenario. <laughs> they talk about London and like they go okay. to various places in the country. Originally, I thought they had colorblind casting, but they have, they don't have colorblind casting, like, actually in this world, like, we're fixing racism. Okay. In, in, uh, Renaissance era England. When is the Renaissance? Isn't that like the 1500s? I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel like, you know, in Friends when Rachel Green is buying all her stuff from Pottery Barn and she doesn't want Phoebe to know. And so she keeps like making up stories about the flea markets that she gets her stuff at. And oh, she's yeah. like, that's from, that's from colonial times. And Ross is like, oh, Rachel, what are some other eras? Your like, uh, <laughs> yester, yester year. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel. Okay. I looked it up. Bridgerton is set between 1813 and 1827, which was part okay. of what is known as the Regency era, a period of change and development in the world of fashion, architecture, and style. Gotcha. Yeah, so like post Renaissance. <laughs> in the way that everything is kind of post Renaissance. Yeah. But okay, pre I was right. I was right. It is the 15th to 16th centuries. Who knows when the Renaissance was? That's right. That's right. We are still recording all of this, and it's going to get included somewhere. Maybe a blooper reel. I don't know. But, like, this is gold. <laughs> Listen, I don't think anyone is coming to our channel to be educated. <laughs> At least I hope they're not, because... What do we have to offer, clearly? <laughs> I know when the Renaissance happened. That's what we have to offer. <laughs> 
Let's watch the sneak peek. <laughs> Ooh, he's smoldering. Oh, Piano staring. music. See, this is much remarkable shade of cuter. Blue. She looks Ooh. brilliant again. They shine even brighter when you are. Yeah, she looks amazing. He's cute. I, I might say something like that if you were a Sita. Oh, oh, see? Well, that was uh, rather direct. Um. Um. Mm. Cute. Oh, that, that was see, cute. I that enjoyed was cuter. That. I think that they are. I think they're gonna pull it off. Oh yeah, that clip. That clip gave me more faith in their love story than the first one we watched. I I feel like eighty percent of that was like lingering eye contact, and if that's any indication of how the season's gonna be, um, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was that was my only goal here. That was my only goal was to bring you to Bridgerton. I feel like I've been transported to the nineteenth century, as I've just learned. <laughs> So, it's like I'm like, in the Regency era, which was around 1815. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why so oblivious? Bridgerton, season three, sneak peek. Yes. Yes. 